All right, y'all. We still here. And you know what? <laughs> I cannot get to work. Well, I need this daylight to make these videos. So it's one of them sacrifices you make. And what's going to happen is I just stay at work way later. And I don't leave work till it is dark, dark outside, y'all. Dark, dark outside. In this video, we are going to talk about our January, our first budget plan for the new year January 2024 y'all I am a big proponent of living your life by a budget because it has changed my financial situation my financial status tracking my money and making wise decisions with what I do with my money every single dollar has really changed my story my money story so let's talk about my money story right now okay for January this is what I project now I did get a raise for this I did get a raise for this year, but I'm not sure how that raise is going to reflect in my paychecks because we don't know what how taxes are going to look. And technically the paycheck that I just got paid even though it was in the month of January, it was from the two weeks that were in December. So I don't know what it's going to look like right now. So for now I say I'm going to bring in $13,526. And this is my plan for that money. I plan to send $1,536 to pay the mortgage. That's my normal mortgage payment with nothing extra added, okay? Homeowner Association did go up a little bit. So that's going to be $1,000. No, never. Never that. It's going to be $111. The gas bill, $103. And electricity, $227. And those are based off of what it had been in the previous months. Cell phone, $177, and that is for three phones that are on my plan. The internet service, $70. Bucks. Security system for my home, $54. And the cleaning team, $180, bucks, y'all. I flirted with the idea of moving it from the cleaners coming in once a month to coming in um, twice a month. And I stress twice a month versus every two weeks because every two weeks will actually make it that they come 26 times in a year and I want them to come 24 times in a year. <laughs> That's what that is, okay? Um, I decided not to do that because I did come up with another financial goal that we want to do. Jay and I were going to save up to do a long cruise, a longer cruise in the future. We don't know when this is going to happen or how much it's going to be. We're kind of narrowing it down, like which cruise we may, we may want to do. So I decided that instead of paying for an additional cleaning service, that money can actually go towards that savings goal of going on a long cruise. And when I say long cruise, I mean a cruise that's going to be anywhere from one month to four months, depending one to four. I'm actually thinking maybe one to three. I was looking at the price of them four months cruises and that's going to take a miracle. That's going to take a miracle. We don't have a miracle right now. So under our own power and under our own financial circumstances, I feel like we can easily comfortably do one to 90 day cruise. I mean one, 30 to 90 day cruise somewhere in between those numbers. Okay. The bed stuff. This is for the bed stuff that I'm financing to include the purple mattress and the adjustable base that it sits on. $300 is going to go there. Insurances for my car, for my home, and for somebody else's insurance that I pay, $398. Easy pass. We're setting aside $65 for that. Subscription services. This is for YouTube Premium and Paramount Plus, $35. Pick Monkey, because it's that time of the year that my annual subscriptions are coming up that I do. That's going to be $110, um, I think, I think. I'm not even sure if Pick Monkey, like everybody else, has raised their fee. We also subscribe to the Kev on Stage app, and that should be $50. That should come out automatically. I don't think that. Hopefully, he ain't raised his fee either. I hardly watch the Kev on Stage app, only because I forget about it. And I'm hardly in my, like, looking at my phone. Like, if like if I'm at home, I'm looking at a TV. And the app is on a phone, not on TV. So that's what that is. But when I do watch the things that are there, they are really good. I love their dating show, the, their dating game. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it is hilarious. 
Um, so yeah, so there are some things that I really do enjoy on that app. But a big part of it is this is my way of support in his company, his entrepreneurial endeavors, and all of that. So $50 a year, at least I can do. Groceries, restaurants, household miscellaneous, fun miscellaneous. I don't necessarily give myself a budget for this. I just try to do what I call mindful spending. When I'm in a store, I am being mindful of the coins and then I am keeping track of what I have spent so that in a month I will know did I spend $300 on food or did I spend $1,000 on food? I think it makes a difference because then you'll know when you might have to cut yourself off and, and say no to some things if you're going ham. But that's what that is right there, okay? Because I'm more of a saver than a spender, I never really have to be too drastic with myself in those areas, okay? Here, I'm setting aside $400 because I am getting my hair done a little more often because I'm wearing it... Um, in a pressed out style, so I'm having it maintained more often. So 400 is what I'm setting aside. Nails, $90. Lashes, $90. I am putting myself a budget for clothing because I know we're going to Miami this month and I probably need to buy something to wear. Because I'm that girl who always feels like I have nothing to wear. So we're just going to be realistic and put the, the, the line item here ahead of time. Even though I don't know how much I'll be spending. I'm going to spend whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Miami, I'm setting aside $500. And that's for spending money in Miami. 401k in HSA, so far $1,780. And actually, that's not going to be quite true. Because I did increase my HSA for 2024. And I need to increase my 401k for 2024. Note to self, go to work, shoot them an email today to do that. HR. Okay, got it. <laughs> Extra mortgage, we're going to aim to send 4500 extra to the mortgage. And a big part of this is I send a physical 500 to the mortgage. And then I put that extra 4000 in my high yield savings account, which I do at Goldman Sachs Marcus account. Now, a lot of you guys know this. You've heard this over and over and over again. But they give you an extra percentage on their rate if you have a referral code. If you are interested in that, shoot me an email and I can get you a referral code. It will not be my own because my own is maxed out. But we have family members, you guys out there who have sent me your referral codes to share with the family. And so that's what we'll do, okay? For gifts, savings, and investing, and I'm just lumping that all together, $1,400 is set aside for that additional investing okay this leaves me with $1,350 left over which is I think plenty but again we're factoring in the fact that I plan on I need to go buy something to wear I need to buy something to wear y'all G is turning 16 she is turning 16 G for those of y'all who don't know is um Jay's daughter and so she turned 16 and so she having a whole sweet 16 party and it's gonna be one of those formal people dress up events affairs and so I need some wear because the way homegirls dress is gonna be is it's straight ball gown straight ball gown and so yeah we uh, I gotta try to fit in so that's what that is y'all that's what I plan to do with my money this month of January talk to me about your January plans because hopefully this will come out before January is over and if it is over talk to me about what you did in January what was your highlight? My highlight is going to be Miami and going to G's birthday. That's going to be my highlight for January. Okay? All right. Talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.